I'm Clay, back with another Red Tech, and we're here to talk about the V Raptor X and XLX. This camera has an all new 8K VV sensor that maintains the same dynamic range and awesome frame rate performance in V Raptor, but with Red's Global Vision, a brand new global shutter sensor and a suite of awesome tools to go along with it. We took the amazing sensor tech in the Komodo family one step further and applied it to V-Raptor X to make this insane leap forward in image making. Like that wasn't enough, V-Raptor X also features improved audio preamps, longer exposures, and a further optimized optic cavity for increased contrast performance. Bringing a global shutter to the V-Raptor platform is a big deal and it wasn't easy. It means for the first time you get the benefits of that platform like large format, 8K120, 4K240, improved I.O. and processing power. You get to utilize that alongside the benefits of a global shutter sensor. V-Raptor's TEC or thermal electric cooler, which keeps the sensor regulated at a specific temperature, means that driving plates that require global shutter can now work in any environment and driving speeds without worrying about thermal management. It means capturing 8K for immersive VR and AR without worrying about rolling shutter distortion. It means capturing 120, 35 megapixel, 16-bit raw images per second with high-speed strobes. And most importantly, it brings global shutter to Red Connects Live 8K R3D over IP or Live 4K over SMPD ST2110, revolutionizing the cinematic broadcast. All this, and we've barely even talked about Red Global Vision, which is the brand new suite of tools coming with V-Raptor X that leverages the high speed global shutter sensor and enhanced processing to do some really unbelievable things. Keep your eye out for a couple red texts about those subjects, but for now, we'll talk about two features of Red Global Vision. The new extended highlights feature offered by Global Vision is honestly sick. <laughs> On top of the camera's already impressive 17 plus stops of dynamic range, you're actually getting additional highlight protection. It's for those mixed lighting scenarios where you just don't have the time or ability to further balance your lighting. You'll give up some extra data and frame rates to shoot with extended highlights, but in the right conditions, it makes all the difference. The next feature of Global Vision that we're going to talk about is Phantom Track. This feature streamlines any virtual production workflow using an LED volume with frame remap. It delivers two distinct R3D clips representing the two LED volume slices. It can save tons of time in post-production and even makes the onset process easier with dedicated viewing of each track. But again, look for those other red texts to get a little bit more in depth. Outside of that, V-Raptor X and XLX maintain the same features that we've all come to love in V-Raptor. Both cameras have the same compact form factor the same I.O. and use the same media and power as their predecessor. V-Raptor X is actually so small, it might make more sense to use this camera on something like an RS3 than a different camera with in-body image stabilization. Along with V-Raptor X are the DSMC3 accessories, and one of the most important ones is the 7-inch monitor. The DSMC3 7-inch has gotten additional hardware and software options based on user feedback. A new rigid hinge mount for the monitor offers a solid locking mounting option to the top of the camera as opposed to the more fluid, adjustable mount that came standard, as well as a new arm to go along with it. On the software side, even more customization has been added to the Page OS system, including the ability to disable pages themselves and pinch to zoom. This is to decrease the chances of accidental touches changing things on the monitor. We've also added the ability to edit the formats and frame rates directly from the monitor itself, making it easy to streamline options for your workflow. We understand though that some people prefer monitoring through EVF, and that's why we're super excited to talk about the Red Compact EVF. 
It's a single cable EVF solution built around the DSMC3 platform. This kit consists of a DSMC3 adapter A, which converts the top accessory port into a locking 16 pin connector, then connects directly to the compact EVF, providing video, power, and camera control over a single cable. We're also planning a red tech around all the monitoring solutions available for DSMC3. Ever since I started with RED in 2012, I've seen firsthand the drive to push image making and technology ever further, and it's really inspirational. But a thing I love about the company is that they don't like to leave anyone behind. And even though V-Raptor is still a powerhouse of a camera, leading the industry on low light performance and frame rate, we're bringing back an upgrade path for people who want to incorporate the brand new global sensor processing and audio improvements that we're offering in the V-Raptor apps. Both of the cameras and the upgrade path are now available at red.com. Please keep your eye out for a Red Tech Live, reach out to your sales rep and Red Studios Hollywood, and don't forget, get out there and create something.